Guys, it's uh, October 26, 2016, um, here in my new townhouse, and um, the nights have been getting colder, and um, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and start the heat up for this season, so I just wanted to do a quick little video of my uh, heating system that I have here, and what we got here is a Carrier 58CVA 070 gas furnace, it is a two-stage uh, with ECM blower motor natural gas furnace um, controlled by the Infinity control system. Um, it's got two stage gas valve, uh, high and low pressure switches, your inducer back here, um, and it's got three burners right there. Three burners, one, two, three. Uh, hot surface ignition and your uh, flame rod slash sensors back in there. And um, high stage at 66,000 BTUs in. Uh, output's about 64,000. Low stage is 43,500. Output's about 36,000. And um, I ran it fine all last winter with uh, no issues. And uh, I'm just going to have to go ahead and start it up again for this season. Now my dog's going crazy for some reason. Um, got a media filter here. Uh, 16 by 25 Honeywell F100. Uh, just changed it on the 11th of October. So it's a pretty good system and it's all just contained in this little mechanical closet here. I got the return coming down from the second floor. Um, another return down here in the basement. Goes out the side wall over there. Uh, the flue pipe goes up. Water heater is over there. And it takes it up out to the roof. And uh, interestingly enough, when I first arrived here, I noticed that the flue pipe was not actually attached to this vent elbow. Um, it was just kind of sitting on there. So uh, one of the first things I did was get that problem fixed. Um, and I installed a uh, new combo smoke detector CO monitor. Uh, they had an old one that was right here. Old, or probably original to the house, 1995. Probably didn't work too well anymore. But um, like I said, nights are getting colder. Oh, and I've got a April air humidifier up here that I've got disconnected at the moment because I need to get a new pad for it. And uh, I don't really need to have the humid humidifier on just yet. Um, but like I said, um, the nights are getting colder. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and start this baby up, see if she's still running good as she was last season. So let's go look at the thermostat. Okay, so we're here in the service menu of the Infinity Control. If you haven't seen this before, I've done a, another video overview of it. But um, just looking at the status of the furnace right now, you can see we're off, pushing about 430 CFMs on low speed, with about 0.2 inches of static pressure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to checkout and furnace. Make sure gas supply is on, make sure gas valve switch is on, which they are. So I'm just going to run it for five minutes on high heat. And let's begin. So if you stood here and watch it, you'd see it run it through all of its steps. Um, we're going to go downstairs and watch it. Alright, so you can see our inducer spinning up. It's a two-speed two inducer. It's on high speed now. There's our igniter, so at least we know our igniter's still working. Pretty soon we'll get the gas valve. There's the gas valve, and we got our three, three burners. So far, so good.
and then I, between 30 and 60 seconds later, we'll get the fan kicking in on high speed. And there's a fan. Yep, I can smell it. The first heat of the season. Burning all that accumulated dust off. It's a lovely smell. It means fall and has arrived and winter is soon, soon to arrive as well. Got three good flames. Smoke pipe going out. Let's go have a look at the infinity control. We got one of our returns right here, another one upstairs. We can see we're on high stage heat, 1033 CFMs, with about 0.69 inches of static pressure. We got about three minutes left in our check. Tally, come here. And here's Talia enjoying the warm. Talia, high five. High five? Good girl. She's a good girl. Blower in there. Read the diagnostic codes if you have to from either there or the infinity control. <clears throat> and as I said, it's a ECM motor, so it's variable speed. Hot. She's going strong. She's ready for a long, hard winter. And uh, and guys, just so you know, I am planning on getting this uh, checked out through a annual service program that I am enrolled in as well. Um, it's always nice to. Uh, to have an annual service on your furnace just to you know have it done by a professional just to make sure everything is running the way it should um, something my my parents did uh, every year on their furnace when I was growing up so I've uh, I've learned to uh, that's something you definitely need to do every year and um, it feels weird to me because the infinity system itself was I believe this system was installed in 06. Um, so even though it is a newer Infinity system, it's still about 10 years old. So you gotta, you gotta keep your eye on it, um, you know, just to make sure. Um, 
out of all the houses I looked at when I was looking to buy, this one definitely had the newest and most advanced HVAC system that I looked at of all of them, so I believe it was a good investment. And uh, as we can see, the test is over, and uh, burners shut off, inducer spinning down, and it uh, looks like a successful test of the Carrier 58 CVA. And uh, I think we're ready for a long, long hard winter. And uh, thanks for watching.